I bet you can't guess what I'm doing. It's been a while, so I might as well try it again. Um, this time we're just doing scrap metal, and it really is just to get me to practice. I don't know how it's supposed to feel or what I'm supposed to do, so I'm just learning. But do realize this is only the second time that I've done this, and I'm not dialing anything in or doing anything like that. I'm just figuring out how to hold it that makes sense to me and like just the very basics. So too far. Conventional wisdom is drag a stick, push a mig, but it's kind of up for debate whether that really makes a huge difference. Okay. If you want to push the weld, kind of hold it this way. Okay. So the puddle's kind of out in front of the wire. And if you prefer drag, I mean, it's kind of a personal preference thing to go that way. Okay. But by having the gun kind of out of the way by about, I don't know, 20 degrees or so, you can see a lot better what's going on. Okay. So just kind of tinker with that. Okay. Thank you. Try to keep your wire down in that corner. Okay, it's hard it to see. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, get your head where you can see it. That's still pretty spotty. Yeah, should I try the other way? Well, you might try with your right hand holding the gun. Should I try pulling it instead? Yeah, you can see if that works better for you. It's still not. It doesn't sound right. Does it feel like it's pushing? I don't know what that means. Mike is going to take a look at it and make sure it's me and not the material. Oh, hell. That might be another thing to try. Because I'll generally use it with my right hand. And you can grab it up here to kind of guide it. Okay. Um, that might help you a little bit. So okay. I think you're grabbing it back here, so it might still be a little floppy. Okay. And you can guide it with this hand, and it'll be pretty right where you want it. I will try that. Uh, that's okay. not fantastic, but... Well, it's better than mine, so it's me, not the metal. I think I'm moving too fast across the surface. That could be... Because you're taking a lot longer than I am. So I'm gonna win. All right, give her a heck. Hi guys, it's Allie. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, do us a favor, click on that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. That's better. much better. <laughs> so I think a lot of it was just the I was rushing. Having control over it and yeah, don't be in a giant hurry. Okay. I'm gonna do some more. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. missed the crack. <laughs> Got most of it on the bottom plate there. Okay. But the bead looks good. The bead's nice and even. Just gotta scoot it over some. No, it's too high. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to see where I'm at. That was much more on target. Okay. It's still on the high side. Yeah. And sometimes you blow a small hole in it. That's no big deal. Now, does that mean I'm too slow? That's right on, though. Um. It can be too slow. It can be a thin spot in the metal. Okay. I think part of my problem is I can't see that close to an object. And that's going to be kind of hard to overcome. Okay. Um, I just because it's just blurry and I can't make out any distinct shape, so I can't tell where they meet. That's going to be a problem, kinda, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. It might get further away if you can, or just find something that works for you. If you're farsighted and you do this, how do you see stuff close up? Because it's just a blur for me. And I can't make out any distinct lines or shapes. I 
I blew a hole in it. Well, I have a better feel how for how it should feel. I think I'm yeah. going too slow a little bit. Let's try it again. No. All right. Yeah, that's on the high side. Yeah, but the beads look good. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm really headachey, so right. that can't be helping. But I, I tried. As you can see, I have a lot to learn, but that's okay. I really just wanted to get an understanding of what it felt like when it was working kind of correctly. So I've got that. And my biggest issue is I can't see. I'm too close, I'm farsighted, and if I'm too close to something, it's just a blur. There's no lines or anything. So I can't tell where I'm at while I'm doing it. And that's really my biggest issue. So if you know of the best way to combat that, please leave a comment below because that's where I need help. So I'm getting closer and I think uh, a few more tries and I might get, in the, get the hang of it. And then I'm going to order a kit from Barbie the Welder. I'm going to leave a link to her kits below if you want to learn to weld with me. So buy one of her kits, give it a try. I'm going to try it very soon. I'm just going to practice a bit more before I buy one because I don't want to ruin like the first thing I do. I'm going to do some more practice stuff and then when I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it and getting an understanding and kind of figure out how to see, then I'm going to go ahead and order the kit. I'm really excited about it.